for the development of our country. Um, Dr. Jared Wedawansala, <coughs> take your first shot on the budget which was revised in Parliament. Uh, from this uh, budget, which now has been questioned on whether government has capacity to raise uh, the necessary revenue uh, to fund this budget, I can see some good things there, uh, but uh, I can see 2.221 trillion uh, has been earmarked for commencement of the construction of the standard gauge railway. Good. Um, I can see uh, 25 billion towards capitalization of Vision Group, which has been struggling. Then there is uh, another bunch of billions that will go to the army to cater for their welfare. But there is 30.95 billion payment of emoluments to cultural leaders. Um, Richard is people. I take, am preparing. Take your shot. <laughs> <coughs> you see. Uh, <laughs> when you mentioned the cultural leaders, Richard started laughing. <laughs> the Savakanga. <laughs> Savakanga. <laughs> Preparing the ground, my friend. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, we, I will look at the budgeting process. Mm. I think it's March when we tabled the budget framework yeah. paper. Mm. And uh, at that time, we, we increased the budget compared to the current financial year. Mm from about 52.7 trillion 58. to 58. Mm. Which at that time, of course, when we were debating here, we, we quoted the Auditor General's report, which said that in the financial year 2022-2023, our budget was about 50 trillion, but we were only able to disburse 43 trillion. Mm. Now, <clears throat> in this uh, financial year, our domestic revenue, collection mm. by URA, tax and non tax mm. revenue, was projected to be at 27 trillion. Mm. Meanwhile, the budget was at 52 trillion, meaning that over half of mm. the budget was, was to be borrowed. To be collected. And out of that budget, the debt has been taking about 21 mm. trillion, mm. Uh, the debt repayment. So this year, when we saw 58, mm. And then at the same time, we're rationalizing, saying we want to reduce on government expenditure, we want to be frugal, and then we have a realistic budget. Mm. It took all these months. Then suddenly, within hours of certifying mm. the budget, mm. we shoot it from 58 to 72. to 72 trillion. For me, I thought it was some kind of madness because we have been talking about standard gauge rail mm. for a long time. It did not happen overnight, mm -hmm. meaning that from that March, probably these items would have been included. Now, coming about, because every budget shall, must be realistic, mm -hmm. looking at the $72 trillion and what government is projecting this fi next financial year. Mm -hmm. They say next financial year, they want to, with the new taxes, mm -hmm. we're going to increase domestic revenue from the current 29 of this financial year mm -hmm. to $31 trillion. Only by two trillion. Mm. Now, where do we leave the gap between the thirty-one trillion we expect to collect and the seventy-two? Mm. You can see the gap. There eh? is ex there is uh, domestic borrowing. Yes, and there is uh, external borrowing. From what I have here, uh, twenty-eight point seven six eight trillion will be borrowed from commercial banks locally. And uh, ten point nine trillion will be from external sources. Now, in the coming financial year, mm. domestic debt financing alone is going to take nineteen trillion. Mm. Mm. And then combined with with, with the other debts, we have budgeted thirty four mm. trillion out of that. Mm. So you see that it's another realistic. So these taxes we are going to collect. Mm. The fact is that we are increasing tax on the same same items even those we claim their new taxes they have a bearing already on 100 other taxes. on every liter of fuel yes on petrol if you go and do an analysis mm. on increment on tax on fuel mm. it has been consistent aside from about 500 went on now now the government actually said fuel is very expensive mm. and the whole blame 
was put on private players in the market mm. who import from Kenya the and then they come and, and sell the here. Men. Yes, so we said Unoc will take over mm. and when take over, sell to others, the price will come down. Mm. But if you increase mm. the tax mm. on the same item, the price will hardly yeah. go down. Mm. Therefore, the same distortions caused by fuel prices will continue will in the economy. Mm. Then the other, I'm seeing a country that is going to be more and more and more indebted if we are serious about implementing these new things. Mm. Then there are things in the budget, for God's sake, that can be left out. Mm. These cultural leaders, the <laughs> 60 million every month to, that's why they are fighting everywhere. Mm. Now Lang has just got two now, to the new leader. one who was gazetted, mm. and then there are those Even who are loyal. Imbari, is it there are three in Bugisu. In Bugisu. Yes, one sits in Bududa. <laughs> there is one who is- Because there will be, Six, yeah. oh, 60 million uh, so, uh, I, uh, every month. But in Imbale, they pay two because they say one is FDC. Mm -hmm. That one was rejected, and I think he's the one who was supposed <laughs> to be gazetted, but another, that one is not paid anything. But there are people who believe in him, and they escort him as a cultural leader. So there are areas where we are spending and leaving crucial uh, areas mm -hmm. where we should put the money. Mm -hmm. I have seen ceremonies eating up a big budget, mm, mm, mm. official ceremonies. Yes, every government has official ceremonies. Mm. But now for us, we have now, we have politicized even barriers that any person dies, then they say the president has given an official barrier to mm. so and so. Mm. We don't have any law on who qualifies for a state barrier, official mm. barrier, what's exactly the distinction, the of the how much should be spent when such a person dies, every minister, every head of agency, everyone, they are going. If it is a guru, others will not even reach the barrio side. They will, it is a tourism. So you are speaking so, to wastage and uh, a question of priority yes. in the budget. Bar yes, budget so when priorities. we have those special, uh, those uh, official ceremonies, mm. we have another about 300 billion mm. on special dishes and meals, mm. special meals and refreshments. <laughs> I don't know whether yet we have under every budget line for mm. say state house, president office, there is money for those items. Right. So it is duplication. It's a duplication. Yeah. Richard, um, an increment in the budget, it comes really abrupt. It is passed very fast um, because it was, it was mentioned just, uh, I think, in, in a, uh, a day before and then the next day it was passed. And, um, and, and, uh, and, and uh, here there are new taxes being introduced. Then we have a problem of uh, external funding because we passed the anti-homosexuality law and I, our human rights record is not so good. Here we are. What do you read in this, uh, these new developments? I think it's very tough to <coughs> read. Mm. Mm. I think it's tough to read the, the, whole, the, whole, the whole process. Uh, the whole process of uh, 13 trillion, was it 13 trillion? 14. 14 trillion. An increment of 14. Increment. Um, the, the, because you see the budget process usually starts early. Hmm. And so to get to a figure, I think there's a lot of... Um, Actually, when the budget is passed, mm. like, um, um, no, yes, um, it's red. The mm. budget is red. Mm. Immediately, another cycle starts. Mm -hmm. mm. So, so... It's interesting to, for example, see when did the user departments, which have got these monies uh, allocated to them in this 14 trillion increment, mm -hmm. when did they request for this? Because usually it's the user, mm -hmm. users who mm -hmm. request. Yes, it, it comes through the had they requested from entities that, it had been cut. that present the budget yeah. framework, uh, papers, and yeah. Mm. So that so for me, it's uh, first of all the, the simple kind of process question. Uh, how yeah? So how do the, how do these figures come uh, after the process is at the end? Mm. The yeah, and they are not small figures. Mm. Uh, the other thing is um, the, the the other question we have talked about previously. The the what is the um, what is the foundation for estimating, for example, the money we would raise as a country? Mm. Uh, what is the um, 
what is the, the confidence, the, the level of confidence that will raise this? Mm -hmm. Because if you look at our tax targets, we have been missing them. Yeah. We yeah. have been recording, URI has been recording shortfalls. Yeah, yeah. we've been recording shortfalls. Mm. So what is it that in has happened collection. now mm. um, with the strikes and all the other things? What is it that has happened that demonstrates that this money will be raised? We have introduced new taxes. Yeah, but what kind of taxes? We, 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 the, the even Parliament recommended mm. that, for example, we should have tax on beer and tax on tobacco. It hasn't materialized. Mm. So instead, there's tax on water and tax on fuel. So it, it, it's, it's, these, uh, these, these questions really linger in one's mind. Mm. So I sometimes think I need to see the team. Who are those experts? She's your friend, uh, uh, Ramadan Nigobi. But is team. he? But is he? Mm. Is he really the one? Oh, yeah. The, the, because I, <laughs> I keep saying, is he really? <laughs> or is he just a face, a poster boy? Mm. So that's the other thing. The other thing that I think we need to really worry about is the borrowing from domestic sources. Mm. You see, Apollo, the government has not been paying. That's what borrowing really, mm. first and foremost, is. It means that they are getting goods and services from local suppliers mm. and they are not being paid so what is the level of areas what are those how much do we have in domestic areas mm. then you are going to borrow from the same sources where we borrow from usually when government is borrowing from the local banks mm. they don't lend yeah to the local businesses the private the sector is overcrowded yes mm. it's crowded. they don't lend mm. and so all the money is moved by government but government can you know for it it's not going to die or, or collapse mm. it may but you know it will be here after a time it will the, the debt is is more secure mm. so crowding out the private sector in uh, individuals and companies and what affects the ability of the businesses to grow mm. uh, but they are the ones you tax Mm. So, so it means your tax will still have a problem. Mm. So, so that is another really dangerous, in my view, trend. Then there is something we are also not reading. It's called debt refinancing. Mm. Mm. Really, debt refinancing means that you have failed to pay your debts. Mm. And you have gone back to the one who lent to you and said, now, <laughs> let's redo mm. the conditions. But usually it means you are going to, it becomes more expensive for you. They give you higher rates. Hmm. So the debt trap in which we are, that we are paying 34. Hmm. Hmm. We have dedicated in the, we are de the, dedicated in the budget proposals. Half of the money. Hmm. And yet, half of payment. that money of the budget, which we really don't know that we shall be hmm. able to, uh, to correct. Uh -huh. So what we are targeting to correct is below hmm. what we are expected to pay. Hmm. In our debts, mm. I don't know if people read these situations. I don't know if, but, but we have a senior economy. I don't know. If, no, no, but I don't country. know if the public really understands what this means. It means uh -huh. that you will not be paid. That oh. if you are doing anything with the government, if you will not, supply be, you not be paid. But department. even the one who supply sub labor, mm. it means you will be seeing more cases. You remember that the cases here, people were not. No, 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 Richard. <laughs> Neda, wait a minute. If the managers of this country are doing this and they are aware of what you're saying that indeed people will not be paid and they for are me about, i am not asking, and if they are aware, asking about those if, if they are aware mm. then why why yeah those are the questions i'm saying for yeah. me it is the everyday the people the teachers mm. The police people, mm. the doctors, the health workers, do they realize that this budget means they are not going to be paid? Do they realize that it means that they will have nothing to use? You see, it looks at the government in this budget year, this financial year. Go and ask your friends in the government agencies. Mm. In the third quarter, they didn't get money. Mm. No. The government was struggling, was borrowing to pay. I don't know if people remember. It, it is always in the headlines. The government was borrowing to pay salaries for... It's employees. Yeah, so it's like it's like we don't see the real, the real. But, but then we ask if if, if we have been if 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 the economy has been struggling, and we have had those challenges, even paying government employees, then why raise the budget for next year? Uh, this is what I was told, and I don't know if it's true, but this is what I was told. 
in this financial year, mm. we reduced our our the reserve mm. from four and a half months mm. to three and a half months. They are also being depleted. Yes, the reserves have been depleted, mm. and that our donors, particularly the world bank, the ones who give us cheaper money said you have to increase it you have to mm. take it back to four and a half months otherwise you are so risky we won't give disperse mm. the chunks of money we have already agreed now to give you we will not the few funders left yes we will not are give also you. setting yes. Tough conditions yes so we have to increase this as a way of saying okay now you disperse to us uh winfred what could be the motivation uh, to increase uh, this budget? I can, as I, 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 of course, I'm also asking myself mm. what is the motivation behind. Mm. But again, one thing I see and uh, the problem we are having as citizens, we are, people are sitting in the wheels, the chairs to plan for us. We are having greedy and privileged persons. They speak and plan from privileged lenses, using privileged lenses. Mm -hmm. They are not feeling the hate for the local mm. person. Mm. Yes? Because first of all, what's, what's, well, let's start from the performance of the previous budget. Mm -hmm. Did we hit? The 52 trillion yeah, the budget. 50, did we hit it? No. And again, I feel, personally, I feel, uh, given that um, very many donors have pulled out because of the AHADA uh, Anti-Homosexuality Act. Act Law. I feel, is, is the government panicking? Are they panicking and trying to prove a point that we can do it this by ourselves? And they're trying to paint a picture that, yes, even amidst this mm. old saga, we here can, we are, we are, here moving, we, are you can hit. we are moving on. And they are even without you planning using feelings, emotions to fight back. Mm. In the end, who is who is going to suffer? As the citizens. The marginalized persons down are going are going are the ones going to be the ones suffering. When you look at like you've, you've talked, uh, my colleague here has talked about the cultural leaders. Why are even why are we having? Uh, cultural leaders, why are kingdoms, those places, they are called kingdoms, why are they having kings they can't, they can't manage? They can't sustain. They can't sustain by themselves. Let kingdoms, let cal those cultures own up their... No, we, we have even um, cultural institutions here which uh, uh, rejected that proposal from the beginning. You remember the five million? Was yeah, it five Buganda or six? Kingdom. Buganda rejected. Kingdom says no, we, are, we cannot take that Buganda, money. Buganda, there are how many kingdoms? Uh, very many, I can't count. And if it's only Buganda Kingdom rejecting, mm. Mm. it is now the minority of the kingdoms, which means the majority have voted. That is why I'm saying we are having greedy and privileged because by the time someone is in that position, they are now in the privileged state. You get it? So, mm, few of them will think for their. People. That is where we are missing it out. We are having leaders who are greedy and only thinking about themselves. Yes? Because why would they even accept that when the economy right now... Okay, we can say that they, there's not just saying, we have seen a tremendous growth in our economy, but is it stable enough mm. to start adding in those other cultural leaders, paying them... The moments eh? every, every month. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it really stable enough? Is, it, is our economy stable enough to raise the budget to 70? Remember, that is a recurrent budget. Every, every, every year, every financial year, you have to, if you start it, you will have to finance it every year. That is it. Mm -hmm. And again, are we stable enough to raise to 72? Given now the sagas we are in, that many donors are moving out, and why are we increasing even borrowing? Whenever I hear about commercial borrowing, I even go back to myself and say, but who are these, who are these, who is behind this commercial Who lending? borrow government, who lend to yes. government? Mm. 
who are these? Have, have, we, have we as citizens ever sat down and really went deeper into? Because we might be here when the government officials are the ones lending to, government. lending to the government. And that is why they feel they push so much mm. to borrow from, from the commercial, the, the borrowing internally. Mm. So our problem is the leadership. Talk about um, the new tax taxes that have been passed and uh, um, if the president signs the amendment in the excise duty bill, then we'll have to pay 100 sh an extra 100 shillings on every liter of diesel and petrol. We'll have to pay at least um, 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 50 shillings on every um, yes um, on, on every liter of mineral water and uh, cement and all other construction materials have also attracted a levy, an extra levy. First, I will just pose a question to all of us and even the government. Yes, we are supposed to pay taxes. We, you can see even us who believe in the Bible. From the Exodus, mm -hmm. people are paying taxes. People are paying taxes. We saw in Luke, when Jesus was around, taxes were being paid. But again, taxes are, taxes are paid to benefit the citizens. Mm. What have we benefited before? For us to feel like, yes, we need this. And another thing, another question I really, even when I, um, I was there when they were passing the, that, the income tax, I was like, Uganda, they, two years back they tabled the, 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 the tax policy. Mm. And it's, it, is the, it, 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 it is the it is it is it is like the regulating uh, 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 framework of other taxes. Why is it that up to now it has never been signed? Mm. I've had member of parliaments question that, and I, I I had the previous time. Is it the Anton Geno promised at the end of the year? Why are our leaders the leg legislators? Ministers comfortable. First of all, I ho I don't have that answer, but it's some 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 question as citizens need to also interrogate so much and understand why are even legislators comfortable passing taxes without when the country doesn't have a tax policy. Why are we from? Let's start from there. Why are we comfortable? But again, mm. when we look <coughs> at when we raise tax on fuel. Mm. Do you know that you have raised tax on everything? Mm. You have raised taxes on, on the livelihood of persons. Mm. You've increased income inequality. Because even if I'm working from home, mm. I'll need to move out and go and buy what? Mm. You, and and go and buy, and gun buy, uh, and, and gun buy uh, materials. Mm. At some point, I'll have to use the fuel. Mm. So we might look at, OK, they have for now increased tax on, uh, on fuel. They have increased on cement. But those are two crucial things mm. right now. We have seen people now so much invest, even if it's their personal houses. Mm. We are seeing people invest in, uh, in, uh, in, um, in real estates. Mm. But are all those stable enough? Yes. So for me, I feel the government is targeting, because right now, like I said, for me, I feel the government is in panic mode. And they looked at which, which areas can we go into, and it will bring us more revenue. It is not easy for anyone to escape that. So let's touch taxes. Let's touch fuel. Let's touch, uh, let's touch uh, cement. Let's touch mineral water. But again, Right now, there, there is going to be a gap because when you look at the, what is the mitigation plan for the government for its citizens, like the low income earners, I don't PDM, see. PDM, Emioga. Is it working in your place? <laughs> it is one. Thing, it is one of the failed projects. Mm. Not because it is bad. When you look at it on paper, it is really good. But because the people implementing it, we are having poor people implementing it down. They are the ones benefiting. All right. Um, let me look at the messages coming in. You can be part of this discussion. We only have 10 minutes.
to conclude the show. Iga Samuel Mere Namlondo Zone Boyogedere. Mr. Paul, thank you for the show. Uganda City Serene is a fundamental change. Taxes are increasing every financial year, but you don't see what it does. Imagine in the next financial year, 75 billion is going to be given to those teaching Ugandans to drink coffee. I heard of that and it is. <laughs> He says it's just wasting taxpayers' money through the Ministry of Science and uh, Innovation that there is 75 billion to, to orient people on how to drink coffee. The, the, is it a question of the priorities you were talking about? And what, uh, <coughs> what, what, uh, what uh, somebody is telling me is asking where do these lessons, uh, where are these lessons conducted? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, of course. Uh, it, and, and, and you'll give us uh, what, you, what, what, you, what you foresee um, after all these developments, take into account what Baguma said um, about um, an increment in the budget which, is, uh, which was very abrupt without uh, a department putting in a request for an increment on their budget, but it's abrupt. What do you foresee? Uh, uh, when I saw that, mm. you know, I, I don't like to usually over-politicize mm. this kind of discussions. I want uh, the citizens to benefit. Mm. But when I saw that increment, sudden increment, mm. I thought about the Republic of South Sudan. You know, South Sudan, uh, the generals saw the oil, and then they started get, receiving money in advance, mm. and then they signed forward contracts like for over mm. 10, 15 years mm. to get the money now. Right now, <laughs> the government of South Sudan is very broke because that, that all... Is, that is really risky. It's like mortgaging the country. Exactly. So mm. right now, the shell companies, others, Chaisenu, they just come to Port Sudan and collect the oil and they take. Because they, they paid in advance oh. and politicians and military officers stole it and built homes in Kampala, Nairobi, their children are swimming here. Mm. So I, I was thinking about that. Is it because we aren't spitting oil, mm. and therefore we say we can borrow in advance? Mm. But that if we are thinking like that, mm. it's going to gravely uh, destroy this economy. Mm. It will put us in huge debt, and then eventually the government will run broke, Eventually, the currents will depreciate, mm -hmm. and those challenges will be there if we continue. Then lastly, mm, finally, uh, Churchill said, if you overtax, if you think you'll tax a country, tax its, its citizens to growth, to develop, mm. that it is thinking that you'll sit in the basket, in a bucket, and you carry yourself, you lift yourself up. <laughs> what we are doing is exactly that. Mm. Cement is being now smuggled from Kenya. Hmm. I have said several times, people in Tororo, Namisi, the border areas, they are not buying Uganda cement hmm. because it is expensive and we are making it more hmm. expensive. The one we produce here is much more expensive exactly. than what is produced in People Kenya. in border areas hmm. are smuggling fuel yeah. from Kenya, Arua, they call it opaque boys. Hmm. Every day you are always having running battles with the boys in Arua. You because, attribute it to the taxes. Yes, because tax makes the product more expensive relative to the market. And therefore, people resort to smuggling. And in that, government loses revenue and also spends a lot on enforcement. Richard, what mm. do you foresee as uh, new taxes are being introduced, but again, funders are pulling out, but the budget is being increased? I would not expect much to change. Um, the eyes will have it. I think they will bring it back to the floor parliament. The eyes will have it. What will they bring back? It has passed. They were passed. The tax. Was every the tax no, yeah, yeah. Was I mean, the, it was the budget passed. Yeah. Or it was the proposal. Originally, the budget was passed. Ah. Uh, okay. mm. So the eyes already had mm. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, the money will not be there. Mm. Uh, we can't have all the money. No. The money will not be there. Um, the traditional, uh, 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 the traditional votes, budget votes, which ask for supplementary, will come and ask mm. for supplementary, and they will spend the money. We shall have the Auditor General and the IGG telling us about the trillions that were misappropriated, the ones which were got stolen 
but we use the word nice words misappropriated. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we shall have a few lamentations. Uh, we come here to do nurses lamentations. But, but, what we cannot predict mm. is how the anger will manifest. Mm. Uh, mm. Because we can't pretend about the anger. The public anger. And the desperation. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't pretend about that. So what we cannot really predict is how that will, will play out. And sometimes, sometimes, when this boiling over happens, everyone gets burnt. Somebody <laughs> sent in a message mm -hmm. here. Uganda is a breast country with caste leaders. I just read it as it is. Mm -hmm. is, is Newton. Newton. That, that's his observation. He thinks the problem is the leadership. But you see, for me, I keep asking who is leadership. Each one of us seated here are leaders. Mm. So but, there is this... But there are people who have power, who hold and wield power. Yeah. Mm. So, the, the, so that's why this um, blanketing of leaders, camouflages... <laughs> Uh, is uh, is is uh, uh, because we fear. Mm. Certainly, we fear, and yeah. the consequences are there. So we don't point to the real problem. Mm. We camouflage it under the term leadership. Mm. But we really know. They, 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 all the investigative organ. They tell us where the looting happens, the hemor the real looting, the real hemorrhage. Yeah, the impunity. We we really know. <laughs> Taxes are not bad, but their usage, more so in Uganda, is still wanting. We are really willing to contribute to the development of a nation, but most times we don't see any value for money. One thing still disturbing my mind is how we jumped from 58 to 72. What is going on in this country? Even the way it was passed, it was in each year away. 90% of the people who passed that budget at 11 p.m. don't have an idea of what they passed. I, you talk about merging some departments, reducing parliament and other activities, how on earth does the budget skyrocket instead of downsizing? You have 27 to 32 trillion in your pocket. What happens if you budgeted according to that? You have 10K in your pocket and you want to eat pizza for lunch. Why? These taxes on fuel, or oh God, we are headed for tougher times ahead. I think some people are just planning for the economic downfall of Uganda. Could it be sabotage in terms of... No, 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 no. It's theft at the grand level. So it's grand theft. It is impunity at its the most base. At its best. The best, the best, the, the lowest you can go. <laughs> it is impunity <laughs> at its best. And mm. it is the um, complacency, the population wide complacency <laughs> and pervasive fear. Maguma really? uh, here, this you are an NRM. Uh, you are NRA. I am a Muslim Sevenist. Uh -huh. Morning, sir. The late Bishop of Amose, <laughs> listen, the late Bishop of Amose told me. <laughs> The one who listen, listen, Wilfred, we are, we are concluding. <laughs> the, the late Bishop Bamose told me that the more you get to know about NRM, the more headache you get. Tugume batukara late. This is Magaya Andrew from Buyende. Uh, Winnie, make your concluding <laughs> remarks I know, I told in, you I know Magaya. in two minutes. What do you now envisage? Because even during the passing of the taxes, there was a, a I mean, uh, in, in Parliament, you could watch and, and listen to some members who are saying, no, this will have a big, big, um, actually, an adverse uh, effect on, on the Ugandans. What surprises me when you watch in Parliament, like how you said that when they were voting, very, there were people who were saying, no, 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 you people, we are heading, it's, 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 it's not good mm -hmm. if we pass this taxes. But when it comes to voting, you'll see those quiet ones. They'll even shout more when they are standing up to them. Because, first of all, I don't even believe they understand these things. Oh. They are there, they are like, the government has, this is what the government wants, for us let's just vote. They don't even give, if, if at least they ever gave every person to defend their yes or no. Yeah, but, but there's a video now, you saw it, it is going viral on social media, 
where the, the eyes, uh, the no, the eyes, we are many about but the yes eight. there were many no the, the, and those ones the nose were many and they could debate why they but debated no the nays the the a's were I, I, many at the time but of, the nays when the had it. put mm. the issue to vote mm. the nays were the loudest mm. then those the ones, speaker said mm. the, 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 the eyes have it <laughs> and then it, the, 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 I, I, but I, the shouting mm. no they were the majority i think uh, anyway you, it we, was a mix of voices Mm. That is where I say, mm. if every member of parliament is given a chance to stand and de like how no, they it can it can be concluded through a vote, a vote of either of show hands or mm. I really understand that mm. it can be concluded, mm. but I'm saying if one day we try to test oh. everyone there to understand whether. Whether the members of really parliament understand, understand where what they, yes, the decisions yes, they make. Yes, mm. that is one thing we need to sample. Okay. But again, I would I would, I would conclude. In just and thirty say, seconds. I would conclude and say one: mm. look at the roads, look at the schools, mm. look at the infrastructures where mm. we were mm. and where we are going. Mm. Still, the problem is around safety. Corrupt. No, we use the words like corruption, mm -hmm. embezzlement. Mm. Those have been our problems. Yes, the system is not doing well, mm. and again, there are still the persons in the system. So we are still driving, we are still on the same route. Uh, praise God. May I think next time we need more sensitization for about a year because they are given, in, they, they, they are given, hey, Isabelia Samuel, I think he's talking about the census, that we need more sensitization before we kick off uh, the, the census process. I think we, we, we had a good one with you. Some messages I have left them behind because of time. My name is Prince Apollo. I must thank uh, Richard Baguma Tinka Simile. Thank you so much for coming back after a while. Yes, Wilfred God. Mugamba, thank you so much for your time and deliberations on the dialogue. Thank and you. Dr. Werihe, thank you so much for those uh, critical and rather insightful um, submissions. Thank you so much, our viewers, for the comments and observations. We catch up next time. Looks like um, we have tough times ahead. Good afternoon. God bless you. God bless Uganda. <laughs>